हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज वाई फोर टू ट्वेंटी मिलियम यूज इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन थैंक्स टू इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन टूल्स डॉट कॉम फॉर हैविंग अ प्रेजेंटेबल एनिमेशन टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ए फोर टू ट्वेंटी मिलियम ट्रांसमीटर वर्स वन कैन सी द अवर थमनेर वेर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वाई फोर टू ट्वेंटी मिलियम एंड to understand this we will take our today's topic as a special topic and if you are new to our channel then please visit to our channel e funda and watch all the videos created related to the topic of engineering fundamentals instrumentation and control engineering deliverables telecommunication engineering procurement engineering projects and career and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda and let's begin with our today's topic that is why 4 to 20 milliamp use in instrumentation introduction to 4 to 20 milliamps current loop any process parameter such as temperature pressure flow density is sensed measured by a sensor and is converted to an electrical signal in form of voltage the voltage from the sensor is sent to transmitter to convert in a standard form of a current output signal for better understanding one can refer below animation where the transfer of a current from field or respective sensor is sent to control room so as to get the required output at the control room side and to understand better we will note down few points a major reason is that the loop current does not vary with a long field wiring if the voltage developed in the loop called the compliance voltage can sustain the maximum loop current another benefit is that the current loop has a low impedance and is not particularly susceptible to noise or emi at large for analog sensor data transmission that is a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop is a very common method to convey the sensor data acquired one can refer below two wire loop transmitter where power supply is connected to the transmitter and further with the help of resistor is connected and or received at the receiver that is the plc card or a system side a third advantage is a live zero feature of the loop that is 4 milliamp low limit which makes the loop self diagnostic if there is a break or a bad connection in the loop or a loop power supply failure this is how few points are seen now we will see further detail in our next slide fourth a current loop permits other current operated devices such as a remote readout or a recorder to be put in a series with the loop within the constraint permitted by the loop's compliance voltage fifth the low level of a maximum loop current that is a 20 milliamp allows the use of relatively simple field circuitry sixth scale and calculate with 4 to 20 milliamp signal it is easy to scale and calculate the process parameter seven analog to digital conversion one can refer below animation and we will discuss further cpu in a plc or a dcs or a stand alone controller need a digital signal that is a 1.5 volt plc or a dcs converts analog to digital signal so that the cpu can read it for conversion of a current from 4 to 20 milliamp to get 1 to 5 volt need or require a 250 ohm resistor now for better understanding we will discuss further the calculation as everyone knows v is equals to ir where v is calculated that is a current 4 milliamp into 250 volt ohm that is equals to 1 volt at the voltage level similarly 
yeah, it has been calculated for 8 milliamp into 250 ohm it will give you 2 volt 12 milliamp into 250 ohm 3 volt 16 milliamp into 250 ohm that will give you 4 volt 20 milliamp into 250 ohm will give you 4 5 volt now for further understanding and simplicity one can refer a table where current and percentage is being calculated and populated in a tabular form when 4 milliamps output is shown that means it is 0 percentage 8 milliamp is 25 percent 12 milliamp is a 50 percent 16 milliamp is 75 percent 20 milliamp is the 100 percent this is how the range of 0 to 100 is being splitted and calibrated in terms of the milliamp so as to get the required current to be transferred to the control room and then further converted to the required voltage level by using 250 ohm so as to get the signal into DCS, PLC or a stand alone controller. This is how the importance of 4 to 20 milliamp current loop in instrumentation and hope today this video will help you to understand the requirement of 4 to 20 milliamp thanks for watching our today's video with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel efunda then subscribe to our channel efunda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel efunda Similarly, you can follow us on an Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.